Hello vlog -yum. it's Paul. I'm back. It's Sunday and today we're going to talk about fires because it's that time of year again. It's time to start building fires. And I've been a boy scout, or I was a boy scout for many many years. I'm pretty good at building fires. There's a few different types of fires that you can build. Um, my personal favorite is the log cabin fire. You take two big sticks this way, two big sticks the other way on top and keep building up. Looks kind of like a step pyramid or a ziggurat if you know what that is. There's the teepee fire. So you have one central log in the middle, everything else laying in around it. There's the lean-to fire where you build a little cradle thing. All the other sticks are going down at an angle. Looks like a lean-to. It's good when it's, there's a slight rain out. It protects your fire. Now the best way to start a fire, first thing you're going to need, kindling. That's just broken up tiny sticks, and they go up pretty quick. Uh, another good thing to use, pine straw. It's not the greatest, but it burns quick. Uh, you can make a bird's nest, which is where you take a bunch of tree bark and really fibrous materials. That way you can strike a barycerium rod and do it. Get a flame that way pretty quick. Um, some accelerants that are good for starting a fire when it's wet. Um, you can take a cotton ball and dip it in Vaseline. That will stay burning for quite a while. Uh, pine resin or pine sap, also a good long-lasting accelerant. Um, fatwood, which is from the interior part of the pine tree. If you can get your hand on some of that. Uh, char cloth which is basically, you can take like an Altoids tin, put a bunch of cloth in it, stick it in the fire, and it's going to turn into more or less charcoal. So, a couple of things you need to remember when doing a fire. No gasoline. I know a lot of people use gasoline, but that's bad. That can lead to a whole lot of problems. Same with lighter fluid. If you do use it though, however, I suggest you keep it at least 10 feet away. More preferably. When you're out camping, Keep your tents at least 20 feet away from the fire because most tents are nylon and nylon goes up pretty quickly. Now, <clears throat> when you're building a fire, and the types that I said before are good about this, you need to have air circulation, particularly at the bottom where all the coals are. And what that does is it just kind of creates a convection. So, into the bottom of the fire. That also helps. Make sure there's not everything's packed in really tightly. So that's about all I could think of for right now, fire-wise. I will leave you with a lovely parting gift shot of my fire tonight. Goodbye!